Okay, uh, welcome back to Building Modern APIs with RESTful. Uh, my name is Matteo and uh, in the last video we were talking about how we can mitigate the problem of making multiple round trips to the, um, to the server by crafting a request that includes several resources in a single call. And today we're going to talk about how we can uh, mitigate the problem of having too much or too brittle data. So basically when you're designing your API you don't want to design based on a design sorry you don't want to design your API based on a visual design or a view in, a, in an app or a site, the couple site or whatever because if you define the output or uh, the the data that you are showing based on what that design needs then you're going to realize that uh, you need to make changes and then when you uh, change it to fit another design you may probably be breaking the prior one and uh, that's a mess so uh, what you do is you expose whatever it makes sense to be exposed for that content type or whatever it's your research and then let the the front end decide what they need in every moment so in order to do that we already saw that you can do uh, you, you can do it by using the fields parameter so i'm going to be building on top of this uh, on top of this request which is giving me starting from the label fist v8 it's giving me all of the bands in there all of the artists that are managed but by that record level label and then all of the members on the bands that are managed by the record lab label um, so that's all the information that I have here and right now I'm showing all the fields I'm actually want to show you that that I'm putting all of the fields in there that are available so that's not ideal because as we said we don't have to have too much or too brittle data so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use the, the request to, to ask for specific fields so uh, you start by doing this uh, adding a new parameter called, called fields and um, Right now, this doesn't align 100% with the JSON API specification. I hope that uh, that's, that will be resolved when you watch this video. But uh, this, what I'm going to show you, is going to be supported because it gives you an extra of flexibility over to what JSON API um, defines. So uh, I, I would like to keep it that, that way. So, okay, uh, let's say that for the label we only want the history and I'm gonna make a note here okay for the label we only want the history for the the bands on the label so for the bands on the label we want, um, let me see, we want the name and the members, right, name, me and members, for the artists managed by the record label, we want the first name. And finally, for the members on the band, we want the last name. Okay, so imagine that that's what we need. Um, and I have no idea why you would end up with something like this, but um, 
again it's not something that I know about because that is something that uh, probably a designer will will uh, will decide so um, I'm gonna start by adding this so we are already requesting a label so uh, we don't need to specify anything more the directly the field on this because it assumes that you're talking about the record label uh, and then I'm gonna move on to bands and I want name a members so I'm gonna do bands dot name and bands dot members and finally uh, it's artists for name and uh, you can see that I'm using this to as, as the reference artist oops, dot and then the name of the of the field in the artist uh, which is a person resource and first name artist dot first name and then finally we want label bands members last name so it would be label it's zoom it's bands Um, all right, uh, let me pull up a band here. Oh, here it is. Bands, members. So this is what we use. Dot, dot members and dot last name. Because uh, you can see that in the person, this is how it's referred. So uh, let's see how it goes. So, um, if everything went well, we should only have history in the record label. We only have history and then bands and artists. So, we have history and inside of label, bands and artists. Okay, that looks good. Then we move on to bands. We have name and members for the band we have name and members All right um, and finally for the members we want the last name so uh, I'm going to to check that later and for the artists we want the first name so for the people, let's move back to the relationships. For the artists, we want in people 53 and 56, we see that we have the first name. And for the members of the band, we have the last name. So that's basically how you can combine includes and fields to get what you need out of a particular record label and uh, next up is going to be how you can filter based on based on the contents of the, the resource so uh, remember when we went to to bands there are two different bands uh, imagine that we have a gazillion bands here and we want to find one in particular based on I don't know I want to find a band that uh, that has Billy Joe Armstrong as a member of it so how would you do that? Uh, that's you're gonna learn in the next video. Goodbye!